absolute bust this morning nothing there and uh, they had some good heavy metal CDs but yeah I'm on a budget so let's keep looking I know that we just met the other night but I can't get you off my mind Not a smooth talker, under pressure Sweaty palms ain't making it much better Something about you feels so special Pretty ugly from the minute that I met ya
I was going to give this op shop a miss actually, but they ended up having three vinyls. I think I might have the moving pictures one, but I can't be sure. I think mine's in probably a little, little bit worse nick than that. Um, and then for Retro Gamer Guy, Go West. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty pumped that they had some vinyls there. They never do, but they charge me $3 each. But we'll keep tracking and seeing if we can uh, find some games at one of the other stores. Somewhere in your car, we can sleep under the stars. We can sleep under the stars, under the stars. to get the R.L. Stein books and I don't have uh, all three of the, uh, all four, sorry. So one, two and three. I really liked this one when I was a kid. And then, yeah, this is the newest style um, one that came out. So yeah, I'm glad that I was able to find three original ones. And yeah, they were 50 cents each, bargain. Uh, no games though, so we'll just keep going.
Always from a different star Flying over streets and our broken hearts But they can even touch us We found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lease Oh, getting caught in the mist is a man that they'll never get out of Their feet in the fears and the doubts Ooh, but we go and we run till the end and we run without shame We own the game
What'd you get? The Velamert UMD, $3. And yep. then Surf Sun, $3. Sweet. So that had a higher price on it, obviously, but I didn't have enough money, so they gave them to me for $5.70 instead of $6. So I got a bargain. Cool. Let's go to the next shop.
So when I left Retro Gamer Guy, he ended up finding some CDs, which is really awesome. So uh, Mission Impossible 2, which has a great soundtrack. Uh, Spider-Man, I can't really remember the... Um, oh, no, this does have the Chad Kroger song on it. Does it? Oh, no, Corey Taylor, that's right. This does have a great song on it as well. A couple of songs. And X-Files, the album. So and then we obviously got two VHS with Mr. Bean and Rage Against the Machine, which is awesome. So, yeah, we're just going to keep uh, shopping around. So heading now to another Salvos. I've been to this one. So far we've picked up a few little bits and pieces from everywhere today. Okay, now let's start with maybe some of these CDs. So Mission Impossible 2, which is a really good deal. That was $2 and it's got some fantastic tracks on it. The X-Files album and the Spider-Man soundtrack. I really like this one too. It's bringing back some memories. Uh, then the most expensive items that we purchased is Punisher was $6.95 UMD, but it's really good because we collect UMD movies and I'm really glad we were able to get that. It's one of our favorite movies. Love is in Bloom is another <laughs> another cash converter's fine. This one happened to be $5. So out of these two, they were the most expensive that we ended up getting. But um, this one's a funny game. They're sort of like nude on the cover and follows a young couple growing couple's growing relationship while working together to create a successful florist business. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what to expect from that. It's G rated, but it looks kind of cute. So I'll definitely give that a go. So that was one cash converters that I, I purchased both of those from. But the other cash is we ended up finding the fifth element. Now I did have $10 here, but I've taken the other price tag off. It ended up being $3, which is an absolute bargain for a UMD. And then the surfs up game. So Retro Gamer Guy is pretty happy with being able to have scored both of those. At an op shop, uh, we ended up finding those CDs and then the two VHS, which is Mr. Bean. And anyone that around the world that hasn't heard of Mr. Bean, definitely have a look at some YouTube videos. He's a very funny comedian. A Rage Against Machine VHS as well. So they were a dollar each. I thought that was an absolute bargain. Then uh, we ended up, I ended up finding some 
vinyl so moving pictures now i i love this album i do and i did end up having it uh when i checked it when i got home but that's okay this one's in much better condition so that was three dollars retro gamer guy was very happy uh with the go west and this one does have some funny stuff on the outside but it's on the plastic packaging so there's nothing wrong with that and yeah that ended up being three dollars as well and then womack and womack which is a great album so yeah i'm really happy with those three then the goosebumps books they ended up being 50 cents each and i'm a total fan i'm collecting all of these again and i absolutely love them and so does retro gamer guy so yeah i'm really happy that i ended up stumbling across them and this one is like new so yeah that was the last one that i ended up finding and yeah just at the end of the op shopping I stumbled across some comics and I did end up selling all of my comics and trading them for other games and stuff like that at one point. And I wasn't intending on buying any more comics again, but with Spider-Man launching next week, I thought, yep, I definitely have to get some comics and just sit down and have a read. But I'm a huge, amazing Spider-Man fan. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to those. And Duke Nukem just wanted to say hello. But yeah, thank you very much for tuning into my video. I'll leave a link in the description to uh, my other op shop video and I hope you've enjoyed this one and I'll be trying to do one of these once a month of all the scores that I try and get and hopefully next time I can get some more games but I'll talk to you guys next time